So we have a couple brand new concept models. We'll save the best for last. Starting it off, we have the concept Weem. And it has an S35VN harpooned sheep's foot blade. I gotta say, I love this blade shape. I think not only does it look good, it's attractive, but it's also a super functional blade shape. Beautiful swedge, nice stone washed finish. And then we have a titanium frame lock with, I don't know how to say it, but I, I would call it like a shouldered uh, carbon fiber inlay because it like goes over the shoulder of the knife if the, shoulder, if the knife had a shoulder. Um, but it looks cool. I like the way they implemented that, how they put that together. It does pop, it does look unique, it looks a little different. Then we have a titanium backspacer, titanium milled pocket clip, and it has thumb stud action. So to get to the thumb stud action, the thumb stud action is good. Um, I do have one nitpick about it that we'll talk about here in a second, but it, it does have good action, very, very smooth on the drop, good access to the lock bar, and the detent is nice and early, so it's very easy to get past. Now, the ergonomics are very comfortable in the hand. I do feel the clip a little bit right here, but it's not... It's not a hot spot, it's just something I notice. Whether or not it'll become a hot spot during use, I can't tell, but it doesn't feel like it would. You know, I feel like I could use it for pretty much long term. But pinch grips, utility cuts, that's where this thing's gonna really, really shine, especially with this blade shape. You know, this blade shape is just designed for utility cuts and opening things up. But you know, you don't have a lot of belly there. You have a little bit, but you, you should have a lot of cutting blade or a lot of cutting edge, I should say. S35VN, good steel, quality steel. It, it is, you know, I'm not gonna say, I don't think S35 will ever be outdated. I think it'll always be a great steel. It is starting to become a mid-grade steel with all the super premium steels that, you know, are, are around and that are being used. It was at one time a, premium steel. And I still do consider it a premium. I just consider it either the a bottom tier premium or a top tier mid-grade. That's where I consider it personally. Um, I like to sharpen my S35VN at, with a medium grit finish. I don't think it takes polished edges very well. I think it does really good with a 600 to 1200 grit finish. Now, as far as nitpicks with this one, one, let's go to the thumb stud thing. Um, I think they're a little slippery. I wish that the thumb studs were had a flatter top. So if you look, they have a very small flat top. I wish that spot was just bigger uh, because, and then that would make, and then also the, the, sorry, and then also the rings around it, I wish were sharper. So it wasn't as slippery. Now they work, they work very well. Now it is a little tight to the scales. So I do kind of wish there was a chamfer around the edges right here. The, the reverse flick is great. So actually it doesn't need one for the reverse flick. But for the thumb flick, it would be great if there was just a little chamfer right there, uh, especially with these thumb studs. Now I, you can see me, I'm not misfiring it or anything like that. Um, slow rolling it is a little bit more tougher though because the, the it is a little tight to the scales scale. The detent is, you know, a solid detent. So, uh, but anyways, I just think if there were a little bit bigger thumb studs with a little bit more traction with a flatter top, you'd have a lot bigger base to kick off of, you know, anyways, next thing I would nitpick about is the plunge grind sharpening choil. Ooh, the plunge grind starts here and it ends at the edge. We don't like that because then when I sharpen, it's going to cut into the um, the plunge grind. So when I sharpen and I remove steel from here, it will have no choice but to remove steel from right here, creating a smile right there. And it'll just make it look wonky back there. There's just a much cleaner way to do it if you separate the end of the plunge grind from the edge, making sure there's steel in between the edge and the end of the plunge grind at the same thickness of the edge then it works great. And then that makes it to where you can sharpen it much easier. Um, it looks better after sharpening. It doesn't look old after one sharpening. And to be honest, it helps your stones too, because you know, when you have this, sometimes you'll hit your stones and you can crack the edges. Um, but 
All in all, you know, other than that, the only other little nitpicks I would say, T6s, I'd rather see T8s. Uh, this edge could be chamfered right here in the lock bar access area, but it's not bad. It still has good access, it's comfortable. So that is a very minor, minor thing. That is just something that could possibly make it even better. But all in all, I do like it. I do like the knife. I think it's nice and slim. It's long, it's a good size. Um, and, and yeah, and I love the blade shape. The grind is a little bit on the more robust side. So that would be another little tiny detail. Because of the size of knife it is, I do kind of wish it had a thinner grind or at the very least a hollow grind. But that doesn't mean it's not gonna be a great cutter, especially if you put a better edge angle on it because it does have somewhat of a high edge angle, which then again, you know, you're gonna cut into the plunge grind. So, you know, the lower you put the edge angle, the more wonky it's gonna look back here. And personally for me, I would have to sharpen this. I would have to put a new edge on it, put a new edge angle on it to make it sharper, especially with this cutting geometry. But it's still, you know, a great EDC knife. Let's get to the next one. The next one is the Loki, the concept Loki. And I gotta say, I like this thing quite a bit. It is really, really well done. Um, it kind of reminds me of an Oz, um, Oz Machine Company Roosevelt. I just can't help but think of that when I, ha when I have this in hand. You know, uh, it, it just has a lot of similarities as far as size and just shape and things like that. You know, obviously nothing was taken or anything like that. You know, it just, it, it, it just is a reminder. But anyways, the blade steel, S35VN, beautiful sheep's foot blade. And if you look, it's hard to tell, but it has a little bit of a poon action right here. So it does have a little um, little dip right there, and then it has a little lift right there, kind of making a little harpoon sheep's foot blade. Beautiful blade shape. I like the blade shape. This is a very useful, functional blade shape for utility cuts, for opening things up. And with this handle, the way the ergonomics are, you can use it in any way you want. You can even turn around and cut straps with it. But the pinch grips, you, you just, you feel like you have a ton of control with a handle like this. And it does have a titanium frag pattern handle. There is other versions, by the way. I will th throw some pictures up on the screen for you to see the other options there are. This one has the bronzish titanium with the frag pattern. I love this frag pattern. I've always loved frag pattern. It has a titanium milled pocket clip and a titanium milled backspacer. Now, the access to the lock bar is beautifully well done. They did a nice chamfer on the edge. They put plenty of access. It's just, it's very, very comfortable. And I always say that that is something that can make a knife feel, either feel premium or feel cheap. And in this case, it makes it feel very premium. Um, and it is a premium knife, so it should. Um, the, the hole deployment is actually kind of unique. It, it's kind of like a half a moon shape or a smile or something, but it works. It's placed in a good spot. It's easy to get even with the skin of your finger. You don't have to use your nail. Um, yeah, you can use your nail if you want to. So that, that's, you know, if you're somebody who prefers to use the nail instead of the skin, you know, you can absolutely do that. Um, so the action on the deployment, very easy, very easy to thumb flick. Um, the drop is very, very smooth. Detent is a little late, but it doesn't matter because there's no flipper tab. So, you know, it winds up closing very easily. So no complaints there. Easy to slow roll too. Um, ergonomics, perfection. I can't express how comfortable this handle is. You know, it just, it's the perfect size, the perfect thickness, the perfect height. And you know, with this little spot right here and the way they chamfered these edges so nicely, everything is just knocked down beautifully well. Um, even though, you know, the, if you go like this, that's sharp in a good way, you know, it gives you traction, but nothing's really sharp in the hand when you're holding it. It just, fe this feels like something I could bear down with all day long and not get fatigued. Um, same thing like with the pinch grip, you know, this is, like I said, it's just such a straightforward, good uh, balance between the handle and the blade. They just complement each other so, so well. Um, great design. And the designer is uh, Stephen uh, Dunak, Dunak, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, so shout out to him, man, great, great design. Now, as far as nitpicks go, so one negative that I would consider an actual negative is the clip is on top of sh pretty sharp frag pattern, which I absolutely love the frag pattern. The clip 
you know, while it's a good clip and I think it would work on most surfaces, it's a, it's a little grippy going in and out of the pocket because of the frag pattern. So I kind of wish that the titanium was thinned out a little bit or this area back here wasn't so thick so it had more um, length. So instead of being this wide, make it less wide. That would give it less tension and make it a little bit springier and it would make it a little bit longer, which would then, you know, it'd make it slide in and out easier. Sliding in is not as bad as pulling it out, and it's not horrifying. Like, like you know, it's something I would still carry, but it's definitely something that could have been better. Um, one, you know, and you know, it, it's just nitpicks. Um, T6s, I want to see T8s. I don't like seeing T6s, especially on a premium knife. Um, you know, that this is something that should definitely have T8s. Um, next thing, the clip is not reversible. Now, that could be a good, or I mean, that might not be a bad thing to you if you're right-handed, but for lefties, this is actually a pretty easy knife to reverse flick because your thumb lands comfortably on the clip. Like, I don't even want to put it right there, even though I can if I want to. So, it would have been a good one to have a reversible clip. Um... Now, the stop pin is placed in a spot that, or the closing stop pin, I should say, is placed in a spot that I normally don't like, but in this case, it's perfectly fine because it's actually hitting in the thickest portion back here, and you can always cut in a choil in front of it. So if you did happen to eat up a lot of steel, or if you had to cut in your own choil for whatever reason, you can without sacrificing the closing. So that is absolutely not a negative. It, it just, in many cases, I would call it a negative if they didn't do it like that. Yes, because they did it perfectly on this. All in all, I like this one quite a bit. I think that this is a really cool knife. It's a great, I mean, it's a medium sized knife, but damn it, this is just a good size for most people. I think most people would prefer a knife of this size. It's not too big, it's not too small. You get a full grip, very comfortable grip, and you have plenty of cutting edge. You know, there's not too much belly, so you're gonna be able to, you know, <clears throat> to, to make, you know, fairly long cuts. And then you have enough belly to where you could cut down on a flat surface. And the tip is pokey and positioned way lower than the center of the pivot. So you can easily do utility cuts nice and comfortably. Um, the handle, man, I just love how this cants up and then down. Man, yeah, great job concept and great job to the designer. Um, what a cool knife. So there you guys go. Um, just a quick look at two brand new concept knives. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.